five viewers. Um, so some chaps from our Newcastle branch uh, recently put me onto these gloves, um, which I got a pair of initially because I wanted something less bulky for the use with things like Viking swords. Um, it's not going to be this huge monstrous thing like a red dragon. Um, or for wearing inside a saber hilt for a bit of extra protection, that kind of thing. Um, so, first of all, let's see what these guys who have been using them for a long time think about them. Hey, I'm Mick from Newcastle Staccata. I'm Steve, also from Newcastle Staccata. Alright, so what are these gloves you've got? These are the Age of Craft um, Bohurt type gauntlets that they have. This one is the Visby model with full finger movement. They're quite comfy, quite protective. Um, unfortunate part about them is the leather has deteriorated on these quite a bit and stitching does come undone you have to redo the stitching quite a lot. How long have you had them? Oh, I've probably had them about two years or so. Oh, okay. So that, that's alright. But I've got to go through and redo all the leather on them all and make them service all again. Okay, and so are these historical accurate, historically accurate it's, uh, repros? It's taken from a, the Wisby, um, I think it's Type 2. Type 3. Type 3 gauntlet with the leather encasing the whole metal gauntlet. It's leather inside, it's all metal plates, which this is busted open, you can see it inside. It's all metal plates inside there, and they've just stuck some sort of plastic there as padding, but that's yeah. quite sufficient. Oh, okay, yeah. so we're gonna get a demonstration, so, obviously. Demonstration. You can get hard on them. And I'm, I can feel the impact, but I'm not, no stinging or Cool. Nothing. So you use those for longsword? I've used these for longsword, um, in broadsword I put on the offhand, and also use them in reenactment combat as well. Yeah. So cool. that's why they're quite worn. Steel weapons. Steel yeah. weapons, reenactment yeah. combat. Yeah. And what about yours, Steve's? Uh, same brand, Age of Craft. Um, this is the clamshell variety, not clamshell, um, mitten, mitten, that's the word. Mitten gauntlets, um, slightly more impact resistance because there's larger plates over the top. Um, they're not down into single finger plates. Um, this is my second pair of the gloves. The first pair is still in perfect working order, but I got these on special. Right. <laughs> and it was so good a price, and I love the first one so much that I grabbed a second pair. Um, I've never been a fan of mitten gloves, uh, but these don't seem to impede my dexterity that much because there's quite a bit of finger movement in the glove itself yeah. so you can still adjust your fingers within the glove and the, the level of confidence you get wearing them um, full 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 power long long sword strikes a hit with a quarter staff this is a quarter staff and it's a fairly That's solid a hit. hit I've been hit with dane axes um, Swords. Yeah, so it's made for Battle of the Nations, yes. so it's it fairly is. protected. It's, it's, it's over-engineered, but that over-engineering doesn't compromise the functionality. It's pretty much like having a basket off on your hand. And right. these mitten style selection, as opposed to the finger glove, they don't require the same level of maintenance. My other pairs required three stitching repairs, but then it's no, no nothing compared that. to the state that mix are currently in. Yeah. So is it a... Trade off between dexterity and, and maintenance stroke protection? Yeah, but I've recently purchased a pair of mittens as well. Just for the so you'd recommend the mittens over I'd the fingers? I'd recommend the mittens, but the dexterity is awesome. Okay, cool. Um, any points about them you think should be improved or could be improved? I'd, well, judging from these ones, I'd probably do a better quality leather. And the stitching you can see with their stitching that they do, it's actually quite loose and not as tight. So maybe a tighter stitch on them yeah. to help them maintain it to hold together. And but no design flaws you can see? No, I can't see any design flaws, maybe rounding off some of the metal so it doesn't rub on the leather as much, but yep. other than that. Okay. So what other things have you tried? Uh, we've tried the usual suspects, so red dragons, uh, we've tried a lot of historical gauntlets, so things with big chunks of leather sewn or riveted onto them. Um, we're comparing them to... I've had hourglass gauntlets, 13th century ones and far superior homemade gloves yeah. of various manufacture. We're in the pre-sale for the um, sock gloves. Um, and if something better comes out, we're happy to adopt it. But yeah, it's definitely the best blend of protection and performance that we've found. Okay, yeah. so um, what would you give them out of 10? I'd give these probably a solid eight or nine out of 10. Mm -hmm. uh, for mittens, I'd give them a 10. Um, durability, protection. Oh, 
there's a little bit of a loss of dexterity, but I won't take that away from the quality of the glove. You know that when you buy me the glove. Um, they're by far the best things I've ever bought. Awesome. Thank you very much. No problems. Thank you. So I've had mine for, or oh, since about the start of the year, I think, um, and I can confirm a couple of things. Um, uh, first of all, they are in fact perfectly adequate for longsword. I wasn't planning to, but I have found myself wearing them for longsword and being hit in the hands is no problem. The other thing I can confirm is the stitching is a little dodgy. So uh, on one of them, uh, it's just come on undone a little bit there, uh, which gives me a chance to sort of peek inside and see what it's made of. Um, and it is indeed steel plates, but uh, there's no plastic or rubber in this one. It's actually proper felt, two layers of felt, which is, is better. Um, and I'm gonna have to spend ooh, maybe 10 minutes stitching that back up again now. Uh, but I thought I'd, I'd leave it open so you could, you could see that. Um, but apart from that, they've been bloody fantastic, uh, so I really like them. Now, if you are wondering about the lack of cuff, okay, so there's no cuff coming up over there, so when you've got your van braces on, there's going to, it's not really going to be a gap, but there's going to be a little bit of a join between the end of the glove and the van brace. It's unlikely to, you know, there's going to be a little bit of a possible place where you can get hit there just on the wrist. Um, our solution, uh, and specifically Jono's solution, who originally put us onto this, so thanks Jono, is this. A rolled up footy sock, okay? So you cut the toes off a football sock, roll it up, and then you've got a thick but flexible thing that goes over your van brace and covers that little gap there. Um, so that's what I've been using, and again, it's been fine. There hasn't been any issues there. So uh, Age of Craft gloves, actually really really good um and not really not nearly as big or bulky as the you know more protective than a red dragon not as bulky as say a hand of glory um or in fact most of the kind of hema gloves that you see seem to be excessively large um these are really compact um and yet really really effectively um, protective even on the thumb there's a massive overlap there on the thumb so you don't get any hits coming in there as well so yeah highly recommended